Have you ever wondered how top websites achieve such high functionality and performance? Now for a WordPress user, the answer lies in plugin, which can be easily installed from WordPress plugin directory or manually uploading. Plugins can transform your website and streamline your workflow. So in this video, we are going to talk about everything that you need to know about WordPress plugins. So let's dive in. Now before we proceed, I would like to mention that all the links, resources and plugins that we are going to use or recommend in this video, we have added the links to all of them in the video description below. So if you want to check out details about any one of them, you can go ahead and check out the link in the video description below. And some of the links might be our affiliate links. So if you use those links to make your purchase, we might earn a little bit of kickback, which is not going to cost you anything extra, but it's definitely going to help us create more helpful and free content just for you. A WordPress plugin is a software application that you can install on WordPress to extend the functionality of your website. Plugins can elevate your site performance and add advanced features well beyond what a standard WordPress installation offers. Now these plugins can be easily installed from WordPress plugin repository or you can manually upload from your WordPress website backend. In the WordPress repository, you are going to find more than enough plugins that are required to build a typical website. That means you don't have to worry about hiring a developer for writing advanced codes to get the functionality added on your website. And just to list some of the types of plugins that you might want to add in your website are number one. SEO plugin, which enhance SEO by providing tools to optimize your website content and keywords. Number two, e-commerce plugins that helps you transform your WordPress website into a fully functional e-commerce store. Number three, speed optimization plugins. Now these plugins helps to speed up and improve the efficiency of a website. Number four, a contact form plugin that allows you to manage contact forms and collect information from your website visitors. And number five, page builders that enhance the website design process with powerful customization options and using drag and drop visual builder to build sites without writing a line of code. For example, Divi, Elementor or Beaver Builder. Now, as mentioned before, one of the best benefit of adding or using a plugin on your WordPress website is how easily you can extend the functionality and add any new feature in your site. Along with that, the ease of use of adding and using a plugin on your WordPress website is far better than adding a custom code or hiring a developer to create a coded functionality in your site. And that brings us to our next benefit of using a WordPress plugin, that is no code customization. Now plugins allow users to customize their site without needing to write any custom code. And that's the beauty of it. If you are a business owner or if you don't know how to write code, then installing a plugin to customize your site is no brainer. And along with that, you don't have to worry about updating the code if there is any update in the WordPress version. So the plugins that you're going to install if you are using the plugins from a reputed developer, then chances are you will receive regular updates from them so that it will always be compatible with the latest version of WordPress. Now let's take an example of a WordPress plugin. In this case, we are considering Rank Math, an SEO plugin that can help you rank higher in search engines. First, Rank Math is an example of a WordPress plugin with an onboarding workflow. This helps users enter in all the details and preferences upfront so that the plugin is easy to configure. Now plugins like Rank Math often comes with a separate page which bundles together all the options that are available in it. And here is the example of the option or the setting page in Rank Math plugin. Here you can edit all the configuration regarding various aspects of SEO or the various configuration that you need to set on your website. Now Rank Math is a plugin that also add SEO options on each page or post that you're working on your WordPress website so that you can enter SEO friendly title, description and keywords and edit everything that is required to rank higher in search engine results. Now there are basically three different types of plugins that you can install or add on your WordPress website. Number one, free plugins, number two, freemium plugins, and number three, 
are premium plugins. Now, free plugins are those which are available at no cost and are typically found in WordPress.com plugins repository. They provide basic functionality addition in your website and also comes with a very limited support as well. So you can download any free plugin from the WordPress repository or you can go to the WordPress backend and search for any plugin that you wish and install it from the WordPress backend itself. Now, freemium plugins are the plugins which are available for free in the core version with essential features, allowing users to try plugin before purchasing the premium upgrade for advanced functionality. Now, these plugins also provide option for free support and most of the time they also have a premium support that is available only for those users who buy their premium upgrades. For example, plugins like Amelia offers free limited version that you can use before deciding to upgrade for the paid plans. And then comes the premium plugins that require you to pay for access and are often sold to the third party marketplaces or directly from the developer's website. Now these plugins offer advanced features and dedicated support and regular updates and may also have proprietary licensing as well. So a premium and freemium plugins offer more functionality and features and better support as compared to the free plugins. Now while dealing with the WordPress plugins, I'm sure you also came across terms like a WordPress theme. And just to give you a context how these two are different, then a WordPress theme controls a website's overall design and layout. They determine the visual elements like color, font, page structure and provide complete design framework for the entire site. When we talk about a theme on a WordPress website, you can activate or use only one theme at a time. For example, let's say you want to use Divi theme, which includes a powerful visual builder for pages, templates, and also got predefined layouts and website packs using which you can create any kind of website in no time. And once you install Divi theme, you can see it says active on Divi theme only. You can go ahead and get rid of rest of the other themes because these themes are not going to control any design aspect of your website. Now, when you add plugins on your WordPress website, you will definitely going to see an impact on your website performance. Now, this does not mean that adding more plugins will slow down your website. Now, as long as you are adding plugins from reputed developers, you don't have to worry much about your website performance. But if you are someone who is just adding plugins left, right and center for every basic need and from any random developer, then you are definitely going to have some performance issues on your website. And the effect varies depending upon how each plugin is coded. A well-coded plugins generally have minimal impact, whereas a poorly optimized one can definitely slow down your website considerably. Now, let's see how we can install a WordPress plugin. So method number one, let's say we are inside our WordPress backend. And in order to add a new plugin, we can go to plugins. And first we will see all the installed plugins on our site. And if you want to add a new one, then we need to click on add new plugin. And here we have a search bar where we can type the name of the plugin. So let's say we want to add a contact form plugin. So we are going to search for contact form here. And let's say we want to install the contact form seven plugin. So here is the plugin details we have the reviews and how many times it's been installed. And we will also get the information about last updated. And we will also get to know if the plugin is compatible with our current WordPress version. And in order to install this, we just need to click on install now. And this will start the installation process. And in order to activate this plugin on this site, we just need to click on activate. Once we do that, most of the time we will come back here in the installed plugin section and here we can see the details about the plugin that we have just added. So from here we can deactivate this or we can also enter the settings of this plugin in order to customize this as per our website needs. Now let's see how we can manually download a plugin file and then upload on our website to install a plugin. Now let's say we want to install the Divi page builder plugin. So here on the elegantthemes.com website, we need to log in in our members area and we have the Divi builder plugin. So let's click on download the plugin from here. And this is going to download the zip file for the Divi builder plugin. 
and we come back here in our WordPress backend and again we go to plugins and then go to add new plugin and this time we are not going to search the plugin in the search bar. We already have the plugin files that we need to add in our website. So we need to go to upload plugin option here on the top and then we get an option to choose the file that we have just downloaded. So all we have to do is just add our file here and then click on install now. And this is going to take a few seconds in the back end to unzip all the files and install the plugin on our website. And once the plugin is installed, we now get an option to activate the plugin like, like this one. So we can click on activate plugin in order to activate it on our site. And here again, we are back in the installed plugin section and we can see we have just installed the DB Builder plugin. Now, once you are done creating your WordPress website, there are various plugins that you should definitely consider installing on your website. So let's talk about these plugins. For example, on your WordPress website, if you are considering organic traffic, then you cannot miss an SEO plugin. And for that, you can use SEO plugins like Rank Math or Yoast. Along with that, you cannot go wrong with a security plugin on your website. So make sure on your website, you install a security plugin so that you can protect it from hackers and malwares. And as the time go by, you might be adding a lot of images on your website, maybe on your pages or maybe on the blog post. Then it's very important that you make sure that all the images are not taking too much space on the website server. And to fix that, there are image optimization plugins that you can add on your WordPress website. For example, plugins like EWW and Short Pixels are the plugin that can help you optimize the images that you have uploaded on your WordPress website. But as a rule of thumb, you should always use an image editing application like Canva or Photoshop to optimize your images for website so that you can reduce the burden on your website server and keep your website run smooth for your visitors. And in the end, make sure you always install a backup plugin on your WordPress website using which you can schedule regular backups for your WordPress website and that backup can be stored in your Google Drive or any remote location online. Now, no matter how good your hosting provider is and how efficient their backup system is make sure you always have a backup copy in your own hands. So make sure you install plugins like Updraft to take a regular backup of your WordPress website. The beauty of WordPress is that you can make any website that you want on your own. And with the addition of one or two plugins, you can give yourself more possibilities to create something purpose-built for yourself. If you're looking for a specific plugin, make sure you check out our WordPress plugin review page. And here you're going to get a lot of guides showing our top plugin picks. We cover dozens of plugin categories so that you can find the exact plugin that you're looking for. And if you have any questions regarding plugins, then feel free to add them in the comment section below and we will get back to you as soon as we can. So if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like. And for more WordPress videos like this one, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.